What's up everybody? Today we are looking at End of the Trail, hitting Kickstarter soon. Uh, man, if you guys like poker, you like a little bit of memory, you like a little bit of strategy, this is going to be right up your alley. So let's take a look and uh, we'll, you can decide for yourself. That's the whole point, right? So in End of the Trail, very quickly, you're going to do three things in a round. You're going to take a, a hand. You're going to make, they have, and these cards have multiple uses. They have a poker value. They have a on uh, the board uh, situation I'll explain in a minute. And then they have a auction money value. So there's three rounds in the game. Uh, and then whoever has the best poker hand at the end will get an extra claim out here on the board, which is super valuable. So one of the main things you're going to want to remember while you're playing this game is building a very successful poker hand. So the round overview goes like this. First thing you're gonna do, we're gonna do the supply, and you're gonna bid for new cards in an auction. So I've got you set up here for a four player game. You can see everybody here has their, their hands laid out. Uh, I am currently the blue player. And if I were the dealer, I would have made three auctions. There's always three rows of auctions in a four player game, one less than there is players. So somebody's not gonna get extra cards. You may not want extra cards, but so let's say I'm the dealer. I'll say I really want this uh, this row of cards here. I want this ace and this jack to add to what I got going here. I would say, all right, I'm gonna start the bidding here at one buck, and then it's gonna go in in, in around the table, and anyone is going to either pass or try to outbid me. Uh, you could even start with zero if you like. But whoever wins this will then take the cards, whatever their number amount of money they bid was, and they will pay for it with cards from their hand. So then they will add that row of cards to their hand. Once that's done, you've done all three. Then we go to uh, phase two, which is prospecting. And in prospecting, you're going to play two or three cards from your hand for their actions. Um, and as you do that, let's just say, for instance, I played three cards from my hand that were doo -doo 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 -doo, these. I have $8 worth of value here. Everybody goes around the table, and that's how you determine turn order. And so let's say that I was first, just for the sake of argument. You take your tent, take a tent and one of your prospectors, and put it on your turn. Everybody else would put theirs on there as well. These are, you have three tents in the game, and then you have a camp. A camp is super hard to move, super hard to, uh, to for other players to mess with. And so they're kind of like your trump card. You're going to want to hold on to that. Then from there, you would play the cards from your hand. Now here's, here's, here's a cool thing. So you've got Oxen, and I got these cool little cutouts for this. I'm sh this is all prototype, so uh, no idea what they've got going for final. But Oxen are the first two row, because from the city, that is the easiest to travel to. And then you've got a mule, which is a little faster, and then you've got horses when just, like you're sprinting out there. You're, you're Johnny on the spot, hauling butt. Right, get out there to that last far out space to, to do some prospecting. So I could choose on my turn to say, uh, I'm gonna play my oxen card and I can go to any of these first two rows and I would take my prospector and my tent and I'd say, oh, uh, I wanna go check out these, uh, these mountains over here. Now, you see, you've got plains, you've got canyons and you got mountains. So here's your tile distribution. The gold value under these tiles that we're prospecting for ranges from one to six. There's 12 of each tile, but mountains ha have a higher propensity for uh, better gold distribution and plains have less, but plains uh, do have, you know, um, you know, it just really depends on the distribution of, of the tiles too, because this is all mixed up in random. And there's a big set here, uh, is what I was trying to get out of my head a minute ago. So you don't even really know exactly what's out here. That's why you gotta go prospect. So, you know, if you can uh, play a, an oxen and go find a mountain, and in this case, there's only one mountain in the first two rows, uh, you know, being the first person out there to uh, give it a look, so I'm gonna go there, and then I would give this a look, secretly. That's how much it's worth. I'd put it back. Now, this is where you say, I'm gonna stake my claim and I'm gonna leave a tent there. Uh, or you, know, you say, uh, I don't wanna stake my claim there. You just leave your person here. This is called pushing your luck. So if you do this, you can play another card from your hand later in the round after, say, greens went, reds went, yellows went, and now it's back to me. 
Uh, I could play another oxen, or if I had, say, a horse and I wanted to look at something else on a different row, this is called pushing your luck. Now, I have four. So if I say I want to push my luck and I end up going up here and look at this, this is less. This means I busted. So I now have to claim this. Now, I don't have to tell everybody at the table that I busted, but it's gentleman's rules here, you know. Uh, I'm just going to say I stake my claim there. And your turn's over. So that's how that works. You have to use a little bit of an honor system there. And then from there, you turn back to your camp. And everybody takes their turn. That's prospecting. So everybody goes around the table doing that. Now, one thing to mention is there are four special power cards that you get that don't have an oxen, a mule, or a horse. That are, they are new prospects. So let's take a look. I can get them off the table. So pro uh, new prospects move any small tent to an adjacent unclaimed tile. So you can, uh, first round, if I, instead of playing that oxen, if I want to play this and bump somebody's tent off of something I think is good, I can do that. Shortcut, look at any unclaimed tile without busting. So if you want to, uh, you know, take a look before you go out to a space, there you go. Uh, double or nothing, look at two adjacent tiles, choose one to claim. So that's a nice way to cover a lot of space quickly. And lastly, uh, claim jump. Claim another player's claim tile. Large tents boot small tents to adjacent tiles. So, you know, you can really, if you think somebody's got something good going on, you can bump them. All right, so then once we've done that, everybody's claimed their space for the round. We add two cards from our from this hand that we played to our what we call the hole. So the hole's gonna have, uh, in your first round, you're always gonna have five cards, except the first round where you have six. You will be sitting aside a card to build a, a poker hand at the end of the game. So let's say that I'd set aside this eight of spades. Well, maybe I wanted to put this nine in here and I wanted to cre start creating a straight flush. So I might uh, not keep these or I might throw one in there. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna have that many cards each round to kind of uh, sculpt your hand at the end. Now that I know that I've got these, in the next round, this auction is going to be very important because every, all the cards that don't get used and set aside, they're all gonna go back in, we're gonna shuffle them up, and then we're gonna do the next round. And so you're starting five hand, uh, five hand, you may have things that you need that you wanna set aside and make sure it gets into this, or there might be an auction row that comes out that's perfect for what you're trying to build. And so you're gonna to wanna to bid heavily on that. So the game has a little bit of, uh, a couple of areas that you really have to think about as far as like how you're gonna use your cards. That's the crux. How do I use my cards to get the most out of it? Because uh, everybody at the end of the game, at the end of round three, is going to have uh, three claim tiles out here, okay? And so at the end of that third round, where you end up is, that's the amount of gold that you've got. But whoever wins the poker hand gets to put their fourth uh, tent and or camp out and claim a fourth tile, which is huge. It could only be, uh, you know, it could be just one one gold. Um, it could be a plane. Uh, you get to kind of choose there, but if it's unclaimed, you get to throw it on there. So good chances are it's going to be worth some decent amount of money. So building this poker hand, super important. Something you always have to keep in mind. Uh, a lot of fun stuff going on here. There's a there's a lot of strategy as far as like moving stuff around out here. Uh, uh, you can do some bluffing. Maybe you found a really good tile and you want to try to find another good tile. And so you just keep looking. You know uh, the four is pretty pretty good considering six is the highest. You know I haven't looked at these, so I'm just kind of taking like giving you guys a a wide array. So four, see like four right now is looking pretty good, pretty good. And oh, there's a five. So anyway, you're gonna you're gonna dig those out. The game's fun, it's very cute, you know? Uh, I really like poker, so I really love the poker aspect of the game. And um, I, I like a little bit of strategy and a little bit of take that. It's not heavy, uh, just bumping somebody else's tent. You don't ever really remove them from the game. You might lessen them, but a lot of times you bump people that you just think that they have something good going on. You don't really know for sure, unless it was something you looked at earlier. So, cute game, great game. Uh, if you like poker, if you like uh prospecting you like the art's cool uh i would uh, yeah this is a good game so uh this launches on kickstarter soon give it a look i hope you like it this was end of the trail and we will talk to them later bye guys by elf creek games